Welcome to the 14th edition of the World Loppit TV magazine, your worldwide cross-country marathon skiing show. In summary, let's go to Lati, Finland to celebrate the 45th edition of the Finlandia Ski Marathon. Then we'll look at the three races to be held next weekend all around the world. But first, let's go to the USA to the Berkey fifth stage of the 2018 FIS World Loppit Cup where Caitlin Gregg won an historical fifth victory. Welcome to the 44 Slumberland American Birkbeiner, North America's largest cross-country ski marathon. Each February, nearly 40,000 skiers, spectators and volunteers gather in Wisconsin for the four-day Berkey Week of festivities. Cold overnight conditions and freshly groomed trails made for a fast and firm course. Thousands of skiers took part in the 2018 Slumberland American Birkbeiner. Since 1973, over 250,000 skiers have skied in Berkey Week races. Known for its rolling hills, the 50km freestyle and 55km classic style race course travels through the forest, over rivers and across frozen Lake Hayward before heading to the finish line on Hayward's snow-covered Main Street. The 2018 Berkey was both an FIS World Loppet Cup and FIS Super Tour Cup race. With elite and citizen skiers from 49 states and 36 countries, the competition was fierce. From the Berkey Trail to the American Birkbeiner International Bridge, skiers jockeyed for position as they made their way to the finish line. The Berkey Week of festivities began on Thursday with the Barney Berkey Ski Tour for the youngest skiers. Skiers and their furry friends raced up Main Street during the Barky Berkey Ski Jaw. The next generation of skiers competed in the exciting Junior Berkey, capping off their ski with a trip over the International Bridge. Ideal conditions made for a great day of skiing in the Berkey Adaptive Ski Race. And the Berkey Giant Ski brought fun to all who shared in the races. On Friday, thousands of skiers of all ages raced through the North Woods on the snow-covered Berkey Trail in the Cortalope 29km race. Other skiers enjoyed the Prince Hakon 15 km race. Whether celebrating with friends on Main Street or enjoying delicious food on Celebration Plaza, spectators and skiers alike enjoyed the post-race festivity throughout Hayward. After five out of seven races, only one tiny point separates Gerard Agnelli, seventh of the Berkey, and Yvonne Perriard Boiteur, second of the FIS World Loppet Cup ranking. The last two races promised to be determining for the 2018 world title. For the 2018 women's title, it's clear that the winner will be either Aurelie Dabudik, fourth of the Berkey, or Maria Grafning, second and in full progress for two weeks now. And now, let's go to Lati, Finland, to celebrate the 45th edition of the Finlandia Ski Marathon. The Finlandia Ski Marathon couldn't have got off to a better start than with the Children's Finlandia. Over 2,000 school kids from Lati, Olala and Nastola enjoyed the tracks and spending time outdoors with their school friends. 
cheering, smiles and can I go again questions were present when kids enjoyed cross-country skiing around the jumping hills in Lati. Perfect conditions and nice weather remained when it was time for the main day of Finlandia Ski Marathon Classic events. Temperatures varied from minus 18 to minus 12 degrees when over 2,000 skiers hit the tracks to enjoy 50 or 32 kilometer races. Ari Lusua took his first Finlandia ski marathon victory by three seconds ahead of Aku Nikanda. Loppuratkaisut oli sillä tavalla, että tultiin tuohon laskuun, viime loppulaskuun, niin tuota, mä aika epäreilulla tavalla lasku, laskua semmoista jätiakua, että tuota, ei se sinne oikein tullut sitten semmoisia loppuratkaisuja, että tuota, että, että ajattelin, että tuossa loppu, loppusuoralla sitten pyritään jättämään, mutta tuota, ei sitä ei nyt ei tarvinnut, kun suksi oli niin hyvä. Women's Race, Nina Vertanen defended her title. Pysyisin miesten perässä koko ajan, niin siinä oli ihan hyvä, siinä vetä ja vaihtui aika hyvin, että saatiin just siltä tavalla Pidettyy sitä vauhti yllä ja tää oli mun kauhe pääkisa, et viime vuonna voitto täältä, et sitä lähetti puolustaa ja nyt se sai onneksi myös pidetty. Finlandia also attracts debutants. Kiva kokemus. Tää oli eka kertaa kun olin täällä, täällä hihtämässä ja, 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 ja kivat ladut ja upea keli ja ihan kiva, kivassa ryhmässä pääsin myös hihtämään, niin oli kiva, kiva. He summed up the feelings most of the skiers felt during the weekend. And now, let's take a look at the three races to be held next weekend all around the world. On March 3rd and 4th, the 11th Rostec Demino Ski Marathon will take place in Rybinsk. More than 2,700 people from 20 countries and 60 regions of Russia have already registered for the best marathon in Russia. This year, for the first time, it will be held as a part of FIS World Lupit Cup. The course is in excellent condition and meets world standards. Specialists of the highest level who made courses for the Olympic Games in Sochi are working on it. The main 50km FT race will open the first day of competitions on March 3rd. March 4th will be a day of classic races, 25km, 10km and 5km. The smallest participant of Baby Marathon will be on 1km distance.
42nd Bieg Paesto Festival of Cross Country Skiing has started in awesome conditions. Tracks are full of snow and well prepared for the last trainings and main races. Festival of Bieg Paesto consists of 10 races in 10 days. The first with a family 10, a race on distance of 10 kilometers in classic technique with competition for families. This event every year is full of smiles and joy. The main part will take part next weekend. World Loppet races on 25, 30 and 50 kilometers and also on 7 and 12 kilometers. The startings list are full of skiers from 30 countries of Europe, North and South America, Asia and Australia. This is the end of the 14th edition of the World Loppet TV magazine. See you next week for a new episode.